Well, as you may uh, notice, um, when you conform your mesh and use uh, the stamp by default, um, you will have a kind of uh, lumber one uh, shader that apply onto your mesh. Uh, it's just uh, a default shader, which is better uh, for viewport, uh, preview, etc. Um, on uh, on the stamp, but uh, of course at one moment you want you will need to use a stamp displacement onto your own shader. If you apply your own shader, you will lose um, the the stamp uh, create on the mesh. Why? Because um, stamp it need his own shader to display and works. Okay, so it's uh, the purpose of uh, this video. I will show you how to transfer this information onto your own shader. It's uh, quite simple. You select the mesh with the stamp and here we will use this uh, two icon. The first one is to store the information and uh, the second one will be to apply the information. So I select my mesh, I store the information. Okay, now I will apply my shader. I shade it one for example. Uh, yes, this one. Here you, you see, as I said, we lose the preview of the stamp. So here, uh, the stamp are still here, but uh, it's not real. It's just because uh, we don't update uh, correctly uh, Arnold. So Arnold still have uh, in cache uh, the stamp, but uh, in fact, there are not. Well, okay, after update, update full scene, the displacement is the updating and we saw this. So I will stop it. And now you select the mesh with, and now you select the mesh with your new shadow apply and just hit uh, the restore button. Okay, wait a second and boom, that appear on your shadow. Same thing here you need to update the full scene and now everything is set correctly. We will test, we shade it, add some scratch edge rear and look that correctly works on the stamp like if it was uh, through uh, geometry.